Hi, brothers and sisters. Brother John here. Pastor John. Um, I just wanted to touch base with a couple of things uh, going on right now. Um, one of our, my sisters in Christ, our sisters in Christ, uh, Chelsea Bedell, she just put a video out, which I went ahead and shared on Facebook, uh, about that the devil knows his time is due, and so is Hollywood. Uh, apparently in the music industry, there's been three different well-known rappers that have brought out uh, new songs here within the last uh, few weeks and she had shared some of the lyrics and oddly enough you know the devil knows his time is short and again Hollywood does and in these songs they actually talk about they were saying about rather about the rapture coming and about you know God and his grace and you know eventually that all will be taken away once the church is raptured once he takes you know the, his true church out of the way and the devil's super duper pissed off right now because he knows his time is short and he's actually wanting the church to go ahead and be taken and getting out of the way you know that way he can rule as he thinks as god on earth and punish the human race and of course all those being first the ones who worshiped him which i just i'm dumbfounded by that why would you want to do that because I mean, not only do they believe in the devil, but they believe in God. And the fact of the matter is, is that you know, even though they're not that far gone, they could still turn to Christ and be saved. But that's entirely up to them. But they might be over their head right now, you know, with the devil worshiping in their, you know, whispering rather in their ears. But um, I'd like to read you um, something here out of the Bible, Revelation. Read a little bit to you today. So, um, with that being said. Revelation of St. John the Divine Chapter 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John who bared record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with cloud, and every eye shall see him, and they also with pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall because of, wail because of him. Even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, which is Saturday the Sabbath, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches, which are in Asia, unto Epius, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyteria, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw even seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with garments down to the foot, and girt about the paths with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth 
and his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write these things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Unto the angel of the church of Epius write these things, saith he, that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them, which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and has patience, and has for my name's sake, has labored, and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love, Jesus Christ. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlesticks out of his place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which also I hate. Now the Nicolaitans he was talking about, it's um, idol worshippers. So. He that hath an ear, let him hear. What the Spirit say unto the churches, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Now, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to go ahead and keep reading this uh, Revelations every day until we finish it, okay? It's very, very important, and it's a very, very imperative that, you know, we concentrate on Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ only. Forget about everything going on in the world. I know it's a big wreck out there right now, um, you know, with Biden pulling sanctions on Russia. He's got NATO working with him because it looks like Russia may go to war. And there's a lot of news anchors, uh, you know, uh, broadcast out there talking about the fear of a nuclear strike from Russia. Because we have a thousand missiles, you know, aimed towards Russia and vice versa. And we may have tops if they fire. And of course, we fire. may have like nine minutes tops, you know, to get down on your knees, repent to Jesus Christ. Hopefully you've already done that or you do that daily. Which, trust me, does not hurt. Because God knows what sins that you are struggling with and he knows the ones that you just blatantly commit willingly knowingly and something that could have easily been avoided so with that you know being said i want to go ahead and say a prayer uh, you're, you're more than welcome to join me our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory forever and ever. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Also, I'd like to say a blessing. Lord Jesus, I ask you to please put your healing, loving hands upon my brothers and sisters in Christ who are watching this video on the other side right now. Lord, I ask you to please always be there for them, to fill them full of the Holy Spirit, to guide them, to love you, to pray to you, to talk to you every bare moment they can. In Jesus' name, Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for taking the time out to watch this video. Uh, please like and share the video. Um, it's very, very important now for you who are new to this, who have not been saved. It's very, very easy to be saved. Just accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Repent all of your sins. Accept the fact that Father God, Abba Father in heaven, raised his son on the third day, and Jesus Christ lives forevermore. Brothers and sisters, I love you guys. I don't want any of you to go through what's about to happen to all the non-believers on this planet. It's going to be horrible. It's going to cause people to die of heart attacks for fear of what they're going to see before their eyes. Not to mention, if that doesn't kill them, the devil will. So just remember, I've got all these videos on here, just in case 
The church is gone tomorrow. You got all my videos on here to watch and those will help you and guide you. But the number one thing to remember is to have your Bible, King James Version. It's the closest, most accurate Bible out there. King James Version. God bless you. Godspeed. Jesus loves you. Glory to Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen.